Oh, hey there. Have we gotten an adventure to go on today? I volunteered to clean out Andrew's car. For those of you who don't know Andrew, he's a fisherman. So he keeps a lot of outdoorsy stuff in his car, which means it's kind of a wreck from all his fishing trips. And I don't think it's been deep cleaned since he bought it. Another fun fact that I don't think very many people know, I used to work for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. So that means I have washed hundreds of cars in my day, and I could call myself quite the seasoned veteran on how to deep clean a car. So I feel like I am the most qualified for this job. Some people find these videos really satisfying, so I'm just gonna do like a time lapse of the transformation of his car as I clean it. I'm already sweating, so here goes nothing. First things first, I need to get all the trash out of his car. Most of it is just water bottles. I filled up about two trash bags worth of garbage. Andrew likes to keep water in his car at all times because he never knows when he's going to be in a situation when he'll need it. So I made sure to leave all the full and unopened water bottles in his car for him. I put them in a little sack so they're easier to find and they're not just scattered all over the place randomly. This is mine. He had a ton of fly rod tubes and most of them were empty. So I went ahead and took those out of his car because I felt like they didn't need to be in there anymore. I find a lot of flies when I'm cleaning out his car because he is a fly fisherman. And I got quite of a collection going on. Here's me showing you that.
have this old wine gallon jug that we keep all of our like spare change in. And here's another fly. It's kind of like an adult piggy bank for us. We decided that we're gonna use that money to buy a dog someday. We're not quite to that point where we wanna buy a dog, but it's in the future. So I just went ahead and took all the change that I found in his car and put it straight into the wine jug instead of having to clean it up twice. Another one. I really had to be careful not to get poked while I was cleaning out his car because I never knew when I was gonna find another fly. And so I had to be kind of cautious when I was sticking my hand in places that I couldn't see what I was grabbing, you know? It's delicious. The next step that I did once all the garbage was cleared out of the way is that I vacuumed out the car. This took me quite a long time. I really tried to be as thorough as I could. I just used the vacuum that we have from our house. We don't have like a shop vac or anything. I also took out all the floor mats and vacuumed them separately. I don't show me vacuuming all the floor mats because I think you kind of get the picture. best I could with vacuuming out the back of his car. I knew he was just gonna fill it up with stuff anyway, so I wasn't as thorough as I was with like where people will be sitting. I also had to be careful not to vacuum up fly line and flies because I didn't want those getting stuck in the vacuum. Next, I put everything back into the back of his car. I kept all the stuff that I knew he would be using and anything that I didn't think he would use on a regular basis, I went ahead and put back in our garage. wipe down the interior of the car, I used this Armor All Ultra Shine. The bottle said that it cleans and details, so I thought I'd give it a try. It smelled pretty good, it kind of gave it that new car smell. And it actually did a really good job cleaning the interior.
sure to wipe down all of the doors. I don't show me wiping down all the doors because, again, I feel like you get the picture. Another thing I like to do is wipe down the door jams and where the car door closes. I feel like that makes it look a lot cleaner when there's no dirt or anything around there. And when you wash the outside of your car, you can't really get to those places. So I just wipe it down myself. Next, I used this Armor All Protectant. According to the bottle, this was supposed to give the interior a medium shine. I'm not a high shine kind of girl. I don't like it when the interior of the car looks kind of greasy. If you like that, that's cool, but that's just not what I like to do. So this just made everything look a lot cleaner and a little, a little glossy. You know what I mean? Next, I used just plain old regular Windex to clean all the windows. I did this on the inside of the windows and the outside. Next, I found this waterless wash and wax. I was really intrigued by this. I didn't want to take his car to a car wash because he has a rod vault on top of his car and it was getting pretty late so I didn't feel like I had time to take it to a car wash. So I thought I'd give this a shot. I started by just spraying it on a small section of the car to see how good of a job it did and it seemed to be working pretty well so I went ahead and did the whole thing. Something to note is that it turned my hands blue. So if I were to use this again, I would probably put on gloves or something. Do you like my new highlighter? Just kidding, it's a mixture of sweat, grease, and dirt. I started this at like seven, and it is now 11 o'clock. But I think we're done, and I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Here's the result of all my hard work. Well, I'm gonna go wash the dirt and disgustingness off of me. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, bye.